Now two flags fly above my land that really sum up how I feel. One is the colors that fly high and proud, the red, the white, the blue. The other one's got a rattlesnake with a simple statement made. Don't tread on me is what it says, and I'll take that. a little while ago. I met John at my house. I got dressed when took off and got out here. Um, it was already daylight by the time we got here. Which is a bad thing about me getting off at 6 a.m. and then having an hour drive to get to where we hunt. Um, we're set up. We're after a couple days a day that we knew we were in here. Uh, already in here on top of this hill next to me I'll show you all here in just a second but um they didn't spook or blow we got in here and see them we stopped moving and they then wandered off they come from my right and they worked their way to the back so they were already back there by the time we got in we're hoping something else comes through that's not a guarantee. Hoping that it's going to be a good day. We are about 20 feet in the air. Uh, light breeze. And I'm going to flip the camera and show you all my view. And how high up we are. And uh, wish us luck. Because we're going to need it because the ones we were after are already came. scouted some more property out there Fairbanks and then I looked at the weather and it's 29 degrees I checked it last night and it said it was going to be 29 with a and got something moving over here to my left it's barely 7.30 now been in my tree for 
about 15 minutes. Um, we had a long drive. Uh, we drove out here to Park County. Out on some of a clan in Park County. This is our first time hunting it this year. Uh, me and Jonesy scouted it. I've got 10 ground scrapes to my right. And I got rubs all around me. Over here by Jonesy. He's got five ground scrapes. We're about 80 yards apart. And there's acorns everywhere out here. All kinds of acorns. And the, the fields are gone. As we drove up, we seen that all the fields are gone. All the beans, all the corn, it's all gone. The creek is right down here to my to my right, just past the uh, bump and stuff when I walk in that thicket over there. But anyway, there's a creek to my right, just past the rubs and the ground scrapes. There's acorns all up here on top of this hill. I got a big ravine in front of me. I got a big ravine behind me, and to my left. There's a big thicket right there. So, the way I look at it, food, water, bedding, ground scrapes, rubs, heavy, heavy trails. I would say I'm in a pretty good spot. Is it a good spot for a bow? I don't know. Hopefully I get more on this video. I'm going to tie this one in. With the one from yesterday. There ain't much there, but it's there. If I'm going to catch y'all later, I'm going to get real quiet. I know I'm already quiet, but I'm going to get off here and see if we can't get a deer down. started the video around 7.30. Haven't seen it here yet. I've been sitting here chilling. I have seen uh, so many squirrels that I could probably feed the entire United States. I mean, it is unreal. I've never seen this many squirrels in one spot before. Um, could be because all this land that we're on uh, just became available for public hunting. So it could be because they've never been hunted before. That's why there's so many, but it is crazy. I've got squirrels all around me playing. I got chipmunks playing. I had a skunk come through. He stopped. Stood in front of me for about five, six minutes, and then he wandered off. I've seen four turkeys. I don't have my turkey tag, or I'd have shot my turkey. I had four turkeys come in over here to the right. They walked from the holler, and then they went over. And they went back down, down there. Well, they just came from up so this way. tag this year. I actually kind of forgot all about it. Because normally I focus only on deer, but um, I should have bought one. I buy one every year so I can shoot one for uh, Thanksgiving. But, you know, things happen. But we've got, like I said, I've seen a skunk 
turkeys and enough squirrels to feed everybody and their brother. All in those two hours, and it's still freaking freezing cold. The sun <clears throat> is barely clipping up through the trees. I like, as you can see, it's not. It's not super bright out in here or anything. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, we're waiting. We're open. Um, I'll be in here for about another hour and a half, two hours. I don't know yet. It's all on Jonesy. seen something by now, being that the water is directly in front of me, the food source, I'm sitting all around the food, I mean, it's all around me everywhere, the bedding is directly behind me, and there's a muck trail between the end of this trail, because we scouted this from, from where it starts to where it ends, there's a total of 17 ground scrapes. I can't remember how many rubs, I mean, they're just all over from great big trees that are as big around as my leg to trees that are busted off big around as my thumb, so he might be nocturnal, but as wore out as it is up here, I figured there would be does walking through here too, not just that buck. I mean, it is just beat down through here, full of trails. Uh, it might be an evening spot, I don't know. Hey y'all, Big Bub here from Big Bub Outdoors. Uh, we're still out here in the woods. Didn't see nothing. It's 11 o'clock. We just got down. And I wanted to show y'all what I was talking about. This trail line he's got and them does have got. As y'all can see, it's it's beat down all through there. One there. I passed three back there. Come on up here. I'll show you. I mean, you can just see all this shit is just tore up. All these nuts and then digging. And then look, two side by side here. And then right here. And I thought I seen something down over in this dip earlier today but i couldn't really see it's still real thick out here and uh, while we was back here we found some uh, deer scat and it was steaming so obviously it had been through here very recently um, there's rubs everywhere and like i said this dirt looks like it's freshly been moved right there and fresh prints and but you know uh, maybe I need to come back a little farther than where I was, but I seen everything but a deer. So that's our hunt for today. Uh, I think we're going to go try somewhere else this evening because this one here is a long drive and it costs a lot in gas. So I'll catch y'all later.
Bye-bye.